What's up guys, and if you watched my last video on the things I love living in Los Angeles, California, here's a longer video for you, because it's the reasons why I hate living in Los Angeles, California. Now, I don't hate it, hate it, hate it, I do, but I don't. There's always a love-hate. I just found bigger reasons to hate it than to love it, because it just makes life more difficult, and why do people want that? So I'm still trying to figure out my whole situation here. Also, before we start, there's gonna be some links down below and at the end of the video that you can click on my cost of living in Los Angeles, California, and also the things I love about living in Los Angeles, California. If you didn't know, my name is Josh Guinera. You're on my channel, uh, subscribe. I moved here in August of 2019 and now it is January 2020. So I've been making as many YouTube videos as I can on this journey of my year that I told myself I'd stay out here and see if I like it. If I do, I'll stay. If I don't, I'm out. So we're at the halfway mark, kind of. Decided to write a couple things down, the top things that I love and hate about living in Los Angeles, California. We're gonna jump straight to it. And this is the video on the things I hate living here in Los Angeles. So let's get right to it in no particular order. You guys probably already saw this coming, but the traffic, the traffic sucks. The traffic's awful from like the whole day. You, you can't get away from it. There's like always traffic. Even if it's like a tiny bit, there's still something there. But majority of the time it's like bumper to bumper, depending on where you're going to, of course. But geez, the, the people driving here too, they suck. Everyone's in such a rush that like, once the light turns green, everyone behind him just starts beeping before he can even switch it, like my foot to the, from the brake to the gas. Like it's insane. I'm surprised there's not more accidents, like car accidents on the highway and in the side roads too, because they drive like maniacs and it's terrifying. Now an obvious reason is that, ugh. Really? Wants to go right there. I got a pimple. But we don't care about that. We just want to get right back on the video. You just want to hear my voice. You can close my eyes. Don't even look at the pimple. And for another obvious reason, it's just so expensive. If you're asking, hey Josh, what's expensive? I'll say everything. Everything is so expensive. First of all, there's a 10% tax on like anything you buy. So you buy something that's 100 bucks, you're paying another 10 bucks just on tax. That's not even counting anything. I was like, to tax. Woo! Expensive. Affordable housing in Los Angeles, it's like, it's like really expensive rent anywhere else. So that blows my mind as well. There's another stupid law that Los Angeles put into effect, or it's coming to effect, is that Uber and Lyft or any of those transportation kind of app things, you don't know how much you're paying until after you get dropped off and then you pay. Like it just takes it right out. Like how stupid is that? You want to know how much you're paying. So I'm done with Uber and Lyft. Thanks, stupid California laws. You have to pay to park wherever you go because there's no public parking. And if you're parking on the sidewalk for the meter things, oh, don't worry, they're always on. There's no free parking until like after like eight or nine or something like that. That's stupid. And back in Massachusetts, it was like after five and then it's free on the weekend or something like that. But yeah, no, not here. The gas prices, boom. They eat up your wallet so fast. The gas when I first moved here, it was like 450. Now it's going down a little bit to like 440, but it's still in the fours. It's insane. The lowest I think I saw was like 390, but that's like 20 minutes away. So I don't, it's just. <sighs> Most jobs are minimum wage too, which make it really difficult to pay the expensive rent and food and everything else so that's hard to live if you're if you're living minimum wage mostly everyone is so that's gonna be a problem in the future for me the people i've met here if they work a minimum wage job they'll have two jobs so if you're living just to work i don't know that's not living to me anyways on to the next now i'm not a guy to talk about politics but people here are majority of the time i see two sides of the story so i never talk about politics because i understand people have got different views it's all good but people here they take it like that's the only thing they care about. It's very scary, because they get really into it. And I'm always just like, whoop, I'm quiet. I don't want to talk politics, because even if you're on someone's side, somehow they just want to fire back at you for like no apparent reason. So I don't talk politics, and people here just are insane about it. Like really insane. And with that being said, there's a lot of fake people. A lot of fake people everywhere you go. I can I can smell out the fakes and um, there's a lot of them. I smell them everywhere I go. Usually people just talk to you to see who you know and what you do and if they don't like it then they'll just stop and walk away but if they like it they'll put on this fake smile, this fake laugh and they just want 
something out of you by the end of that conversation. That's, that's, that's the people out here. Majority of them. There's a lot of good people, don't get me wrong. A really big reason why I hate here, and I don't know why I'm saying this, well I know why, I'm just very confused on how my feelings change about this, is that there's no seasons. Basically it's just the same every day. I mean, I haven't even lived here a year and I kind of already miss, I don't want to say I miss the snow, but I miss like, the feeling of like, like it didn't feel like Christmas without the snow. I went back home a couple times and there was snow on the ground, but that was like, good. that was good enough. Those two times seeing snow, that was good enough. But I still like missed it within like the spirit of holidays and whatnot. Don't, I don't, the rain here and there, this was like, it, it rained two times since I was here. I do miss rain on like a different kind of like occasion like you would have back in like spring in uh, Massachusetts. So that's kind of, it's kind of weird for me to say because I always hated all of that. But I guess I don't. And obviously I miss my family and friends. Um, I don't really have a lot of family and friends out here. I got some family, yes. And I got, do I have any friends? Yeah, I got a couple friends, but nothing like back home. Because, you know, that's what I've grown up with. And I don't really go out much here because everything's so expensive. But, you know, I told myself I'd try it. On to the next. Now what you see in the movies compared to like the sites around here is totally false. It's fake. There's a lot of great areas, don't get me wrong. But there's I, so much more terrible areas, like just run down and trashy that you'll never see in the movies. I'll always be driving and I'm like, wow, this doesn't look anything like the movies, which I didn't expect or anything to, but they only show like the best of the best of the most beautiful sites, which there are a lot of beautiful sites, but you know, obviously Los Angeles is so big and moving here, I was like, I'm gonna see like a lot of it. So exploring a little bit, I'm like, wow, I'm in, you know, a really rundown area and I, I don't like this right now. So my last and final reason on why I hate living in Los Angeles, California, is that you need to know people to get any kind of like job that you're interested in. Like I moved out here to help build my resume for entertainment. I got one thing under the belt, but I guess that's done with and it was really fast. Now I'm not saying all the time you need to know someone to get a job. You can obviously get lucky and you can obviously just go in for a random interview or bump into someone. You know, that stuff happens, but I say that's like 5%, another 95% you know someone. That's how I got into mine but then it's over with anyway, so just waiting for the next opportunity. Every time I try applying online to jobs that are coming up, I'll uh, send them my updated resume and whatever, blah, 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 and an email. I usually don't get anything back. Now with all that being said, I wanna make sure to all of you people watching that I don't hate California, I don't hate Los Angeles. It's just different living here rather than vacation, obviously, and I knew that coming here. There is a lot of things I do love about it, which is in my other video, the reasons why I love living in California. So watch that. And then my other video too is um, the cost of living here. I went through, it's so, so much information is in that. I really wish you guys would check that out if you are thinking about moving here. If you are about to move here or thinking about moving here, hit me up. Let's have a conversation in the comments down below. If you have any questions too, please just drop them in the comments or hit me up on social media. And follow me on social media. Follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. More videos coming your way very soon. So with all that being said, please like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, comment down below anything you want, questions, comments, concerns. And I'll see you later. Josh G Vlogs, we out.